hello everyone today we are going to work on this uh, saving and loading this uh, selected options so if I set this to let's say a custom setting and TLS in is epic foliage quality is medium and we think is enabled and apply uh, and go back so if I uh, exit the game and if I load the game again those settings are restored as you can see here the settings that I had before I applied before is loaded into the UI so we think is disabled foliage is medium and aliasing is epic that's the setting I had so if I set it to low again and apply go back and exit the game and play again see now everything is low and uh, also uh, I'm gonna work on this re uh, reset to default button as well so default setting is facing disabled and everything else is high so when I press reset to default it changes into that so those are the two things I'm gonna work on today and thanks uh, this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support okay so at the moment we have work in vsync all other settings and the overall settings and everything and we can apply them the only thing remaining is uh, as for these buttons reset to default option and how to when I apply some setting and when I come back and open the game those selected settings should be restored so those are the two things remaining for this page right now as you can see here mm -hmm. this is obviously the low settings but if I play the game again you can see everything is in epic which is not it uh, which is not correct so let's fix that let me go to the UI and graphic options right now in the graph uh, This is where I initialize. This is where we initialize the settings. Now, if we can here, let's uh, get user settings. This returns the local machine settings, the game local machine machine settings. From this, we can actually pull the data we need. Um, right. So I reordered this, the reordered this part a little bit, so you can see it clearly. And uh, uh, now we can access. So this is overall graphics quality. Uh, but here I actually don't uh, haven't saved that anywhere so yeah let me start from the anti aliasing get anti aliasing quality and we can set it like this and if you select both of these and press Q you can see the links are straightened Right, the next one is foliage quality. Get foliage quality and connect. The next one is view distance. Next one is post processing.
next one is texture quality next one is shadow quality next one is vsync is vsync enabled so we can select the level based on this boolean if it is true that means one otherwise this false right mm, that's it okay now let's play the game so as you can see we have low quality here and if i go here you can see low is selected for all these settings let me apply this and let me just change to medium apply and go back now medium is here let me exit the game and play again now you can see medium is selected but the only problem is this overall graphic quality is not set so how do we do that um, here oh, oh. right so all we need to do is a way to trigger the trigger this uh, on value changed event so that will automatically set if we have a custom setting or if we have a epic or basically another setting so to do that i think let's just initialize the overall graphics quality with this anti-aliasing system or actually and if i connect to any other nodes that will work also that will work as well so right after setting this up i'll call this event um, on other option changed yeah so when everything is done I call on other option changed okay and now let's see now here everything is medium and let me set this only one of these to custom high so this changes to custom then apply and go back this is here now let me exit and restart and yeah see this is custom so it is changing dynamically let me test again some of them are high so this is a custom setting if i change it back you can see everything is set to medium so let me now test again so everything should be medium yeah medium okay so that part is also working right the next only thing remaining is reset to default option so as the default option i'm gonna use um, high settings okay so what i'm gonna do is oh we have to yeah 
we have to invoke this overall graphics quality changed event with the overall graphics quality value so right now here we have the reset yeah so here what I'm gonna do is get the overall graphics quality set no uh, set op option level to 3 no 2 0 is low 1 is me medium 2 is high right then I have to call uh, this on overall graphics quality changed oh this function name is wrong this should be you right okay that's all no that's not all we have to bind this reset event to the reset button which is defined in the widget options did I already do that I don't remember yeah we have we have already done that both apply and reset so this should automatically work now so here now we can see everything is medium if I press reset it is changed to high and the only thing remaining is we haven't set vsync so this doesn't affect the result to default and one more thing regarding vsync is instead of having this uh, tick box we can have enable disable just like this we can have a um, selectable option with says enabled and disabled one of the suggestions I get got in the comments in the previous episode uh, we can do that but I'll just leave it like this for now so let's say vsync is uh, enabled should be enabled for the default settings uh, no should be disabled for the default setting so when I press default or reset when the reset event is called I'll get the vsync and set level option level to zero so this that should clear if it is set to true I set reset to default now this is cleared and if I apply it is applied and if I go back it is there and if I close the game and go to the settings you can see the previous settings are saved okay so with that I would like to finish this uh, graphic options part and what remaining is this display options audio options and gameplay options which I will address next not in this episode in future episodes all right so thanks for watching and as always project files will be available for the download through the patron page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club and see you in another episode goodbye